Hey, everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about a Nintendo Wii that is not showing up on the TV. I'll be going over the easiest fixes in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get right into the video. If you have a Nintendo Wii and you plugged it into your TV, and no rhyme intended, but we're going to be rhyming all the time and throughout this video because Nintendo Wii and TV rhyme. So it's just going to happen. Let's get over that right now. Okay, we're rhyming all the time. So if it's if your Nintendo Wii is plugged into the TV and you cannot see <laughs> the video on the TV, then that's going to be a problem, okay? Because it's going to be hard to diagnose the problem if you can't even access the actual visuals of the console on the TV. So these are essentially five fixes you can try out. I'm going to go through these quickly, so let's get right into this. Number one is to unplug the Wii console for a few minutes and try again. Now, when you unplug the Wii console, so you're going to unplug the AC adapter from the wall outlet and, or the extension cord, the power bar, whatever it's plugged into, and then you're going to unplug it from the console itself. So you're going to have your AC adapter cord just by itself. You're going to unplug it for a few minutes and then plug it back in and try again what you're going to do is you're going to soft reset the ac adapter and the nintendo wii console itself so you're going to try that out and a soft reset if there's a software issue then that's hopefully going to help you out with regards to being able to get the console to actually show on the tv once again i do apologize I don't know what's going on. A car just drove behind me and I think it's got a loud exhaust or it was blasting a stereo system. I don't know, but we're going to keep going. So number one is very simple. Unplug it for a couple minutes. Try again. Okay. If that doesn't help you out. Number two is to inspect the video connection cables. So on the back here, there's going to be video connection cables. I have them. They're in the box in the back though. I'm not going to pull them out. You're going to inspect the video connection cables and see if there's any issues with the video connection cables themselves. Okay. So inspect the video connection cables. Make sure that there's no breaks. There's no frays. There's no kinks. There's no issues with them just make sure they look okay make sure there's no corrosion no rust nothing like that okay i'm never surprised i'm a video game collector <clears throat> um and i've seen all sorts of stuff when i look at old consoles that i'm considering purchasing for myself so i'm not surprised at anything the wii is an old console so you know, look for any sort of issues with the video connection cables themselves. If that doesn't help you out, move on to number three, which is to ensure that the video cable is plugged in properly. So you want to ensure that the cables are plugged in properly. Now you probably have the one with the three colors on it. You're going to have a yellow cable, a white cable, and a red cable. I don't know if that's called compositor or component. I can't remember if it's compositor or component. But essentially, you want to ensure that they're pl plugged in properly. Oftentimes, we just reach our hand behind the TV and we plug them in and we're like, it's not displaying properly. Well, yeah, maybe because you plugged in the yellow cable to the to the other colors okay so essentially the red and the white cables don't matter so much because they're for audio the yellow cable is what matters the most because that's for video so primarily make sure that your yellow cable is plugged in properly and then also you're going to look at the red and the white cables make sure they're plugged in properly as well if that doesn't help you'll move on to fix number four which is to make sure that the tv video input is set correctly so make sure you have the correct video input selected on the tv i know you probably think you do but i cannot tell you the number of times even my Self, that I'm trying to get my system, one of my systems to work. And I'm thinking, what's wrong with the system? And I realize, oh, wait, it's set to HDMI 1 when it's supposed to be set to HDMI 2. Okay? You wouldn't believe how many times that happens, even to me. And I play games all the ever almost every night I play video games for sometimes only five or ten minutes just to calm myself down before bed, and other times an hour or two. I have four young kids. I have a full-time elementary, I'm a full-time elementary school teacher, so I have a full-time job as an elementary school teacher. I have a wife that I try and be the best husband I can for, and, and like I have four kids that I try and be the best father that I can be for them as well. I also have, this is my channel and I run it myself. I own it and I run it completely by myself. So I'm really busy. So video games for me are an added bonus. Um, you know, basically instead of working out, I play video games. Not a good choice, but that's my hobby right now. It's going to change in the future you know, as I start working out again. But for now, you know, I play almost every night and I still make those mistakes. I don't play every night, but I'd say like an average of five nights a week. I play for at least just a few minutes sometimes. Okay. I just to sort of calm myself down. And other times I'll play for two hours when I get a chance to. That's a very rare occasion. Anyways, um, also, a lot of modern TVs will not allow you to tune into that specific input until you have turned on the console. So make sure that you're turning on your Nintendo Wii and then turning into like HDMI 2 or component composite, uh, AV in, whatever you have it set to, okay? So make sure that the video input situation is correctly, is done correctly and properly. Okay, last but not least, if that doesn't help you, I'll move on to fix number five, which is to try out different video connection cables, okay? So you want to literally try out a different set of video connection 
connection cables. Um, you know, now potentially the video connection cables are, are, you know, not proper or the port itself is not good. But in reality, most likely it's the cables. These ports are, are like really durable and they, they're oriented in one way. So really you can't like plug it in the wrong way. Um, so, and it's really, it's a really heavy one way orientation. So you can't really plug it in the wrong way. So essentially, you know, try a different video cable, try it out. I think, and don't quote me on this because I could be wrong. But correct me if I'm wrong, I think the Nintendo Wii uses the same video connection cable as the GameCube. I could be wrong, but if I remember, you know, from back in the day, the, the GameCube and the, Ninten the Nintendo Wii use the same video connection cables. I could be wrong about it, but, you know, look into it, because if you have it a GameCube, you can try that out if it if that's correct. So don't quote me on it, but, you know, look it up for yourself and see, you know, um, what the situation is. But that's it. If your Nintendo Wii is not showing up on the TV, these are the easiest fixes in a step-by-step -step tutorial you hopefully you can fix it and make it work properly again and that's truly it if you like this video tutorial slash demonstration slash explanation slash story time whatever you want to call it please be sure because i had lots of different parts of this video it was way too long i'm sorry uh please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching